Well, back guys, 10 over 5, we've got a bit of transfer, and just news in general, there's a fucking storm outside that's like 9-11 on meth, if I, as I would say it, so that's no good, um, but I news, Rangers fans have been told no fans can visit Leon for the final Europa League game, which is a bit shit, obviously. Um, we're, we're, we're getting back to, oh, brother, COVID and lockdowns. I won't say any more because they'll just hoover my monetization clean off me. So, I'm on the lockdowns, JK. But aye, that, that's not good. But we're going to dive in to the gossip column because the big man, Fuchs, has been linked with both old firm clubios. But we'll take a dive in here. Um, Callum Butcher. Oh, set to be upgraded to a red. When I seen that, I thought, fuck, that could have been a red, definitely. You know, also, former Rangers chairman Dave King saying that the club's current hierarchy has shown unbecoming behaviour by denying former Celtic striker and BT pundit Chris Sutton entry to Ibrox. There is a, there is a definite, um... It's a pettiness. It's kind of funny, but... Yeah, I... I can kind of see both sides to it, but you know what, I still think it's great that he's not allowed in, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, it is a wee bit petty. But here is the news that will be headlining this bad boy. Um, Dundee United midfielder Yando Fuchs claims Dundee United will have to sacrifice a high percentage of their transfer fee if they sell him in January, with Celtic and Rangers both like... Now, this reminds me of... It remind, like, Kamara's obviously better than this guy. Maybe this guy can fucking become... The next fucking Stevie G, for example, or fucking Patrick Fiera, you know. I mean, I'm just wrapping the pish here, but, you know, he plays for Dundee now. Kamara was Dundee. When we brought him in, loads of people were scared. What, 50000 on this guy? I don't know how much this guy's going to cost. I would they assume he would cost more than 50000 Um but the way he's talking here, that Dundee and I would have to sacrifice a high percentage of the transfer fee. There must be something in his contract. Or something the day with it, like January. Or unless him and his agent are getting a load of the fee if they sell him in January, which is a weird clause. Um, would I take him at Rangers? To be honest, that's probably where we're most stacked in the midfield, but I'd rather us get him than Celtic, to be honest. So, you know, because I, I do think, because I've seen it, like, you seen that stat the other day, it was like, Dundee United have not won a game without this guy since, like, November last year. And that's fucking shocking. And that's when you know someone is pivotal to a team. Now, obviously, if he came to Rangers, he would definitely have more of a chance to shine. Same with Celtic. You know, he wouldn't have to fucking carry the jobbers at Dundee United, like Ryan Edwards, you know. All those jobbers, you know. Nicky Clark and all that. I wonder how Shanklin's doing over in Belgium. I haven't really kept an eye on that. But, guys, will we sign... Yando Fuchs, who knows, who knows, who knows. But in terms of any other Rangers news, there's not really an awful lot um, happening here. It's not good, of course, that he's not allowed in. No, he's not allowed in, that the Rangers fans just aren't allowed in to the stadium. But, yeah, it's shit, guys. But there's also other news. But go check out Fog Football. I'm going to make a fit because John McGinn has been linked to a move to Manchester United, so go check out, because that's a big money move, also Moyes talking about the Scots, doing in England, you know, the likes of Robertson, Tierney, McGinn, McTominay, uh, Shea Adams, well, I know McTominay Adams aren't really Scottish, but they are, they play for the national team, but aye, there we go guys, but anyway, till next time, peace.